What's up, y'all? I'm Derek Barcelona. You might recognize me from IGN Snap Raps. Uh, probably not. Getting things done so fast and so quick. Watch out, he might take your chick. Or that episode of The Fix when I delivered these hard-hitting lines. I think she's in the bathroom. Still don't recognize me? Well, after four and a half years of helping out with The Fix, they finally decided to let me host. So, of course, I had to get all dressed up, but I forgot my pants. So this will have to do. Let's fix it up. We're going to learn a lot more about Last of Us 2 on June 11th because that's when Sony will have its E3 2018 showcase. Starting at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 Eastern, the show will focus on four big games, The Last of Us sequel, Death Stranding, Spider-Man, and Ghost of Tsushima. And of course, Sony is promising third-party and indie surprises as well. But it's interesting, Sony is seemingly setting first-party expectations so early. Will the company really not announce any new games? If so, that'll definitely rev up the rumors of the PlayStation 5 arriving sometime next year. Speaking of big E3 games, Eidos Montreal boss David M. Fossey has revealed the development budget for The Shadow of the Tomb Raider. To say that's unusual in the video game industry is probably an understatement. And Fossey told GamesIndustry.biz, Shadow of the Tomb Raider and other different AAA single player games cost $75 million to $100 million. And that's production only. It's close to $35 million on the promotion. That's a lot of paper. But the math works out if Lara's upcoming adventure finds commercial success. I mean, Ubisoft touted Far Cry 5 seeing over $300 million in consumer spending during the game's first week of release. Past the outer rim of Star Wars Episode IX's release, there are a handful of movies and shows coming to our galaxy from one far, far away that we know very little about. But Nerdist has uncovered a few details about the Star Wars series from Iron Man and Jungle Book director Jon Favreau. It will be set seven years after the return of the Jedi and will feature new characters. Which is cool, sure, but Jar Jar deserves some love in a new Star Wars project at some point, right? No. And that's your daily fix for May 11th. Now that you're all caught up, check out our video detailing how God of War made Fix producer John Borba a better dad. I mean, I give the dude dad tips every day and he completely ignores me and listens to Kratos of all people. To be fair, I don't have any kids, so why would he listen to me? With that, I'm Derek Barcelona. Have a great weekend, guys. Don't forget to download the IGN app. And remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN. Yeah! yeah!